So in this video, we will discuss about spanning tree concept. So before going for the spanning tree concept, we'll brief about switch and switch functionality what we have discussed in the previous classes, previous uh, videos. So uh, when we talk about switch, we'll use switch to communicate within a network or you can say if 10 PCs are there and all are configured in the same network then only we can use a switch to communicate with, between them if we want to communicate in different networks we need a router the switch will use in a same network environment first thing Second thing, there are in switching concept three steps are involved. First is learning, second is decision, decision making or decision, third thing is forwarding. So, first of all, what it will do, it will learn the frame after receiving. Learning, learning the frame means it will check for the source address. So depending on the source address, seeing the source address, it will check the MAC table. If entry is not present, it will update. And if entry is present, it will check whether the same entry or different. If it is not same, it will update. Second thing, decision. So in decision, what it will do? It will check the destination MAC address. So in destination MAC address, it will check whether it is a known unicast, unknown unicast, broadcast or multicast string. So, what is the difference between known unicast and unknown unicast? If it is known unicast, destination MAC entry will be present in our MAC table. If it is unknown unicast, destination MAC entry will not be present in our MAC table. But broadcast means destination MAC address will be broadcast address. There is some something some address we have to give for broadcasting. It is appropriate. And similarly, like multicasting. For multicasting also, there is some MAC destination MAC address need to be given. So in all the except no unicast. In all three cases, unknown unicast, broadcast, multicast, switch will do broadcasting. Uh, switch will do flooding. So flooding means when it will receive from one, uh, uh, it will uh, switch will forward the frame to all the other port except from the port it has received. So suppose four ports are there. From port 1 it has received and it will fall to any of three category unknown unicast, broadcast or multicast frame. If it will receive from port 1, it will flood it to port 3, port, port 2, port 3, port 4, all the other ports like except port 1. From port 1, since it has received, it will not send it back to that, but it will send it forward to all the other ports. So, this is basic switching functionality. Now, we will talk about the spanning tree concept. So, the spanning tree concept will come into picture when we deal with redundant environment. So, what is redundant environment? So, if we have uh, we have two places place a and place b we want to go from place a to place b and there is one single root we'll call it as root one so now if we want to go from place a to place b we can go by using root one but because of some reason suppose root one has gone down root one is having some issue you can't use that in that case you cannot go from place a to place b or someone wants to come from place B to place A, that route is blocked now. 
so in such a condition we need a different route to reach from place a to place b so we call it as redundant link or redundant route so suppose now route 1 and route 2 is there within place a to place b route 1 is blocked so now what we will do for reaching from place a to place b you will use route 2 okay but route 1 it is still the best route if it is up it is working fine if it is in a good condition you will always prefer route 1 but in case your route 1 is not good your communication will not close it will be continued by using route 2 the same thing will take place in networking also switching environment also what we are doing if you see here from pc0 to server 0 we have from pc0 to server 0 we have two paths as you can see in the green primary or main link then second is redundant or backup link so primary or main link means it is giving us the best path or it is taking less time or it is giving good bandwidth in networking terms redundant link means when primary is not working or having any issue we can use redundant link so basically there are two paths to reach from pc to server or from server to pc primary or main link and redundant or backup link but the problem is in switching environment in switching environment in this kind of condition what will happen it will create networking loop which will cause flooding that is the issue so in this kind of environment in redundant link we will use HTTP to remove the loop we will see how it will do so if you will see here we have layer 2 loop example same diagram what we used in slide 1 same thing it is showing primary and main link you can see primary and main link it is in green so this one you can see here so primary and main link from pc0 to server 0 if this primary or main link is up it is always being it is always preferred first so always this link is used in, in, because of some problem if this primary link goes down this redundant link will still provide the reachability between pc0 to server 0 Now, multiple layer 2 connection between LAN segment and server create following problem. So, there are two paths between PC and the server. So, what it is doing, it is providing a backup path to us, but in switching environment, switching environment when we talk about, we are using only layer 2 devices. So, here layer 2 devices switch. So in the switching environment, layer 2 environment, layer 2 connection, it is creating some problems. Some problem is broadcast systems, duplicate frame copies, unstable map table. So we will see how these things are happening. So as we discussed, switch always floods three kinds of frames. What are these three kinds of frames? First is unknown unicast, broadcast, multicast. We discussed it already. So for broadcast, destination MAC address will be some number, we call it as FFFF. Similarly, multicast frame is also defined with some special pattern of number. Now, what is broadcast system? So, PC0 performs an R request to find the MAC address of server. So we are currently into this broadcast system. We will see what is broadcast system. So PC0, as we seen in the last diagram, in the last uh, network topology, PC0 and server. 
to connecting from PC0 to server there are two parts one is main part and other is backup part so PC0 performs an R request to find the MAC address of server so uh, if you don't know R currently uh, I just want to say is R is a broadcast request so you can see here we have three categories unknown unicast, broadcast and multicast so R falls into broadcast category so what will happen into broadcast category uh, how this broadcasting will be taken care by switch that we will discuss here so once any broadcast train comes to a switch switch what it will do it will flood down to all the remaining port except from the one it has received i am repeating it again if suppose we have four ports port 1 port 2 port 3 port 4 so if you if you have received the broadcast train from port 1 what you will do you will see the destination mac address and you will take a decision like it need to be flooded as you can see here so it's all it plus floods three kind of frame so it need to be flooded in except the port from which it has received so from port 1 you have received the frame so except the port 1 you will send it to all other port port 2 port 3 port 4 you will flood the same frame whatever you have received from port 1 So now PC0 will generate single broadcast frame. As we can see, R first will be a broadcast. PC0 will generate single broadcast frame. You can see this diagram. So from PC0 will receive switch 1 will receive a broadcast frame frame. And suppose we are assuming HTTP is not enabled here. So this is whatever we are discussing till now we have not we are assuming HTTP is not there. So PC0 will generate single broadcast frame. So PC0 has generated a single broadcast frame. It will hit the switch switch one. So since it is a broadcast frame, what it should do? It has received from here. Switch will see it is a broadcast frame. It will flood out to the remaining ports. Remaining port means one port toward S2, other port toward S4. So, whatever you have received here, it will forward it to forward it toward S2 and S4. So, S2 and S4 will receive that frame. They will also see destination MAC addresses broadcast. So, what a switch will do for a broadcast frame? this S2 will broadcast it toward S3 since it is having only one extra port one is incoming port other is outgoing port so to the outgoing port again it will send this broadcast train again S3 will see this S3 will see this and S3 what it will do S3 will again see it is a broadcast train and it will forward it to S6 Similarly, S6 will forward it to S5 because it is a broadcast pin. So, and again S5 will forward to S4. Again S4 will forward it to S1. And then S1 will send back again it to S2. And this will keep on going because it is a broadcast pin. So, this is the problem here. So, that is what is written here. PC0 will generate single broadcast frame. Switch S1 will receive it from PC0. Switch S1 will flood this broadcast frame from all remaining port except the incoming port. Without any loop removing mechanism, switch will flood broadcast endlessly throughout the network. So it will keep on every switch will see it is a broadcast frame. It will keep on broadcasting. So it will slow down our network. You can see here. And it will take place in the board direction. If you are seeing broadcast is started we are, we are just following this arrow it is gone toward S2 when S2 has sent it to S3 
S3 has sent it to S6. S6 has sent it to other outgoing ports. It will not send it to incoming port. So it has gone to server and S6. S6 will again forward it to S4. S4 will again forward it to S1. S1 will again send it to PC0 and S2. You can see this. Okay. So this will keep on going. And similarly, in this direction, also same thing will happen. Because when it has received this broadcast from PC0, it will send to S4, S4 will send to S5, S5 will send to S6, S6 will send to server and S3, S3 will send it to S2, S2 will send it to S1. So as we can see, S1, S2, S3, S6, S5, S4. This is one broadcast the storm is going on it is keep on going and similarly s4 s4 s1 s4 s5 s6 s3 s2 is going on so this way this broadcast form will never end less never end it will keep on going and it will never stop duplicate frame copies in loop method, the device could receive duplicate copies of same frame from different switches. PC0 sends a unicast frame to server. Switch plugs unknown unicast from all of its port except the incoming port. So, what is happening? First of all, we'll say, first of all, it is a unicast unknown unicast so what if we do with unknown unicast suppose pc0 this time suppose we are assuming it is not a broadcast stream it is a unicast stream unicast stream means suppose pc0 have the information of server 0's mac address we'll call it as destination okay so now when pc0 will send a frame with destination map of server 0 switch 1 is not switch 1 is not having information of server 0's MAC address so what it will do it will do it it will make a flood so switch 1 will send to S2 and S4 now S1 and S4 has received it again S2 and S4 has received it so it is unknown unit cost because unknown unit cost again S2 will flood this to all other ports except incoming port Similarly, S3 will forward it to all the other ports and same way it will happen this side also. So, in S6 we have received multiple copy of the same thing. One is via S1, S2, S3, S6, S5, S4, other is via this one. So, S6 is having multiple copy of the same thing. So same thing is written here, in loop network a device could receive duplicate copy of same frame from different switches, PC0 sends a unicast frame to server, switch plus unknown unicast from all of its port except the incoming port. Unstable MAC table, when switch receives a frame it checks source MAC address and frame and associate that interface with finding MAC address. Next time when switch receives a frame for this MAC address, it will forward that frame from this interface. These entries are stored in MAC address table. Switch uses MAC address table to forward the frame. PC0 sends a unicast frame to server. Switch S6 receives this frame from two interfaces. The main problem is again duplicate reception of the same frame. So when you will receive, receive to the same source address, you are receiving it from two ports. What you will assume, as we know, switch will first perform learning. So in learning, first time it is learning like from port 1, PC0 is reachable. Second time in this next frame, it has received same frame from the second port 2. What it will make an entry? Port 2, this particular source address is present. So it will, our MAC, is, uh, MAC table will become unstable and keep on changing. So STP was solved, was developed to solve each problem that is tricked due to layer 2 loops.
so uh, now this further spanning tree will and basic terms of HTTP will discuss in the next video so till now we discussed what is the issue without HTTP in the redundant environment of HTTP in the redundant networking environment and why we we came for this concept HTTP so we will discuss more about spanning tree concept and uh, various terms of HTTP in the next video thank you